Lucy finna be the reason that everybody get caught. Valentine and uh everybody. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chessie. This is for General Hospital, March 20th, 2023. Okay, so look, Lucy, I told y'all, I said anytime one person who ain't supposed to find out a secret finds out, multiple people start to find out. And look, this episode we don't seen Lucy don't snuck out, got on just glasses and her hair pinned up. Like that's much of a disguise. <laughs> like that's a disguise. Now she don't went and reveal herself to Macy. Now Macy knows about Anna, you know, because Anna's supposed to be in a fugitive and all this stuff. Then Valentino you know, went on the doggone bridge. I said, look, everybody just ain't sticking to the plan no more. He don't went on the bridge. Carly don't see him. Then Drew ends up seeing him. I said, yep. Might as well just go and reveal y'all selves to Victor now. Because, look, somebody going to slip up again. It's too many people that know now. You got Carly know, Drew know, um, what's her name? Maxie know. Maxie, blabbermouth. <laughs> blabbermouth macy they tell everything really but yeah oh anna and valentine see that lucy is gone lucy over there with just glasses on and almost got caught if spencer hadn't came up and there's still no guarantee that victor didn't see her out the corner of his eye because you could see people out the corner of your eye real fast but um but yeah he look everybody gonna find out at this point but yeah, she went in uh Maxi office and revealed herself. She studied talking about the nurse ball, this, the nurse ball, that the lighting is, the lighting that. I said, Lady, tell her you should have started out with, okay, I'm here, I'm alive, but can't nobody know because we ain't hiding or we got this plan. Something. She over here, yeah, do you got the lighting? The lighting needs this. Bobby would have never thought of this. And I I said, girl. But Anna done came in and uh telling her she gotta go. And I was like, Look, Valentine gone. He on the bridge over here. Uh and I was like, I was wondering, I, I forgot that. I think Carly and Drew be meeting up there sometimes. But I was like, ain't that the same bridge that, you know, Carly and Drew? Not Carly and Drew. Sometimes Carly and Jason would meet up on. But, yeah, now he knows. And uh, Valentin is asking, asking Drew for his help. And he's talking to Carly about it on the preview for tomorrow's episode. But, yeah, they don't get <laughs> Look, okay, um. Uh, Bobby wanted to talk to Victor about her brother Luke, and she tells Victor that he would pay for everything he's done, and that um she tries to talk to Spencer about what Victor has done, but v- but Spencer tells her that he's giving Victor the benefit of the doubt. He ends up meeting up with Victor because he want to help. Still trying to get custody of Ace. Still trying to get custody. He he don't even refer to the baby as Ace. I was look, y'all already done agreed to drop the dog on charges. Now that y'all don't drop the charges, y'all gonna have to keep an extra eye, an extra eye on Esme because there's no telling what she gonna do. But yeah, uh, who we gonna go with next? Um, Jocelyn and Dex. So Jocelyn wants to know if Dex has changed his mind. They going over their options again because they said um, Sonny gonna kill him if he finds out because that's betrayal and everything. Then they talk about he owe Dex feels like he owes Sonny because Sonny came back and saved him and everything. And they study. They end up sleeping together and everything. They on the couch. Michael's at the door. I said now either this is where because Jocelyn was just literally just saying how she wants to know who hired him so she can either she can slap him and thank him because they brought him into her life and everything and now michael's knocking on the door and uh he's like we got to talk and everything so either i wonder if if um this is where michael's gonna find out about jocelyn and dex or if she's gonna hide and that's gonna be like i explain everything later y'all know how it go i watch too many shows but i explain everything later so now it becomes, if she does find it, when she finds out about Michael, like, which she already okay with taking Sunday down anyway, because Dex has agreed that um, all that matters and all this is her, and that he's going to get the evidence and turn it over to Michael and everything. I was like, man, something's going to go wrong. Something, something's definitely, I still feel like he going to do something to stop it. Like, uh, I don't know if Michael going to have a change of heart or Dex, but Dex already, look, he, don't want, he didn't want to do it to begin with, I don't think. But yeah, he got regrets. But um, Michael and Wed- oh, I said Michael and Wedding. Michael and Willow been talking about the wedding. Um, Willow asks Drew to walk her down the aisle. He agrees and everything. Michael has been worried. He's been putting up a brave face for Willow, and basically Brooklyn been trying to just console him, comfort him, and let him know. And she asks about Nina, and he says he he will leave the decision up to her. But um. He said he can't find no good in Sonny. I was like, no, y'all was just bonding at the hospital. I was like, man, I'm disappointed. I'm ready for this Michael and Sonny beef to end. It's over with at this point. Let it go. Let it go like you always do anyway. Might as well just go and cut to the part where they be back on good terms because this always happened. But I wonder if Sonny going to try to seek revenge on him. Look, hopefully not. 
But look, they got bigger fish to fry because somebody's after Sonny, and we don't know who it is yet. I'm sure they're going to reveal it. But somebody's trying to take him out. They're trying to take him out or whatever. But um, Nina want to know why Donna's not staying. Is it because of her? She think everything about her. <laughs> but he lets, Sonny ends up letting her know that it's not because he just don't want to put her or his kids in danger so they won't be visiting. She was trying to convince him to allow her to stay with him and everything. Now you just telling uh, Phyllis over here that you don't know if you can deal with it or whatever. Just stop fooling yourself and get out Carly's spot because at this point Carly's the only one that can handle him and what he got going on. Well, she the only one that's willing to do it. She the only one willing to do it. Everybody else think they could, oh, I'm going to change him. He's going to be this and that. Carly knows what it is and that's why they've lasted this long. That's why to keep breaking up and getting back together and breaking up again and get back together but yeah um she finally agrees to stay away and not come visit and everything we'll see how long that lasts excuse me i did say one interesting storyline for general hospital would be you remember back in the day when this situation happened with sonny or jason or somebody and they'll take two people that mean the most to them i was like might as well take nina and carly take nina and Car somebody need to grab nina and carly that'll get the old day vibe that'll be an interesting storyline they'll be back there big big bickering with each other i'm studying and stuff they'll be bickering with each other and they'll have to find work together then maybe they'll help squash this dog on beef. They'll uh, <laughs> have to work together to escape or something. That'll be good. But in regards to um, Michael and Willow, I thought about, I keep thinking about, you know, remember when Willow first came into town and and uh, sh Michael was interested in her, but he stepped aside because Chase was interested and they was somewhat forming a friendship. I was like, yeah, so now they about to get married. But yeah, um... When Lucy had went in the office and she grabbed Maxie, Maxie punched in the stomach and she said, jokes on you, creep. I know self-defense. <laughs> then she realized it was Lucy. But yeah, I told y'all, once one person find out a secret that nobody's supposed to know, multiple people start to find out. While they over here in Maxie's office, Valentin don't got exposed, don't got caught slipping by Carly and Drew. And at first, Valentin was panicking because Lucy was gone and everything. Look, at this point, Lucy was the weakest link. I would have had to let her get caught, but they would have known everything. Known they would have known because you know she was supposed to have been blew up. <laughs> blew up. I think that was it, right? She's supposed to been got got caught too, or um, passed away, got killed, whatever you want to say. But yeah, she done messed up the whole doggone operation. Cause watch somebody, somebody gonna not do something right, or somebody gonna be talking out in the open or something. Somebody gonna feel like they gotta, you know how they be. Well, I couldn't keep this secret from my, uh my this person or that person or whatever. Y'all know, y'all already know. But yeah, Spencer wants Rita to help save Ace. Um, like I said, Willow now talking about the wedding. Um, at the end of the episode, Willow was asking Brooklyn about chase and her feelings at the end on the preview for tomorrow's episode she's willow's talking to chase about his feelings all like, about time that's another storyline that they need to go and wrap up with the with the with the chase and brooklyn thing like come on now they need to be together at this point if y'all gonna be together be together but if not then you not but yeah i think i basically covered everything not too much going on michael at the door trying to talk to this but y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode until next time this is